So hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm joined by Kate, who is uh, an expert on motherhood. <laughs> All things motherhood. Kate, I'll let her introduce herself. Oh, one, she's my friend, and then the rest. Um, so my name is Kate Ongeti. I'm the hospital manager for Jacaranda Health. I am a nurse midwife by profession, and then I specialize in management of mothers in labor. Good. Yeah. So you're in the right hand. So today we'd like to talk about uh, prenatal care. I wanted to have a series on motherhood, but I felt that just showing up here with a fully grown child wouldn't really be of benefit. So I thought that I would approach an expert who can talk to us about prenatal care and other topics on motherhood. So I have some questions that I will ask Kate and you know I trust her. She worked with me throughout my pregnancy with Taraji and post-pregnancy. So I consider her an expert. So Kate, what is prenatal care? Ah, prenatal care. Prenatal care is the care we give women pre-delivery. So anything that happens um, during the journey of the mother being pregnant. Okay. So from the time she discovers she's pregnant to the time of delivery. So that is prenatal care. Oh, okay. Why is it important to get prenatal care? It is very important because number one, you need to understand if your baby is growing well. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you are also in the right health status. And then number three, if um, if you're actually eating the correct types of food to be able to help the baby to grow, if you if the baby is also positioned well to decide on which mode of delivery you're going to have. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so at what time should uh, an expectant woman start the clinics? So I usually say we talk about prenatal care. But there's a whole other care called preconception care. So pre preconception care is the care that we give you when you decide you want to have a baby. So like for example for you, mm -hmm. you knew before Taraji was born mm -hmm. that you, or rather before you conceived Taraji, that you knew you wanted to have a baby. And most women or most couples make a decision that I am going to have my baby. I think we should start trying to have a baby. Wow. So when you make that decision of we should start trying to have a baby, mm -hmm. you should come in and, start and see your gynecologist. Okay. Because there are certain supplements that we give you to help you with, um, one, as the baby is being conceived, mm -hmm. um, some of the defects will not be there. Um, so we start you on supplements like folic acid, we start you on supplements like calcium and um, iron and then we check whether your blood is okay. So that is before you conceive. And then once you conceive, because a lot of um, issues happen with your body, so your body is now trying to adopt to having a baby inside it or another, I call them small human beings, um, and they are eating the life out of you. So they literally, <laughs> they literally suck the life out of you. So your hemoglobin, that's your blood levels, they go down. Mm -hmm. Your calcium levels, they go down. Your um, immune system itself goes down. So you see a lot of mothers during their first trimester are very sick. Either they are really vomiting uh, because they're just, everything is just happening. They're feeling, when the weather is cold, they're hot. When it's hot, they're cold. So. Um, there's a lot of hormonal changes happening and a lot of um, physical changes happening within yourselves. Like your blood vessels dilate a bit more to accommodate more blood flow. Your heart sort of expands a little bit to accommodate more pressure, more flow going through the heart. So that's when women get very tired and they always want to sleep during the first trimester because a lot is happening in their body. Wow. Yeah. I've never heard of preconception care. Mm. Because like for me I just you decided missed the pill <laughs> <laughs> and voila. Yeah. So like I've done the pregnancy test, so it's at that point that I start clinic. Immediately. Yes. Immediately. Uh -huh. So as soon as you think that you're pregnant, mm. 
when you're doing that pregnancy test, I usually advise mothers, do it in a hospital. Okay. So that if the test turns out positive, you have the opportunity to start your clinics that time. Yay! I did my <laughs> test in the mall. In the mall? Yes. yes. What kind of things do you, what kind of care do you give mothers on their first clinic appointment? So the first clinic appointment, I usually tell mothers, don't be in a hurry because there are a lot of things that happen. And the reason this happens, especially for the setup in, in, in Kenya, mm -hmm. is that we think that um, as soon as we see this mother, we'll never see him again. So we treat you like we will never see you again. Okay. So that in case there's anything that happens throughout your journey, you have one, all the information you need to take you to pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And then two, you have the, the most important tests done mm -hmm. during that time. Um, so during the first visit, we do your, what we call the antenatal profile. So the antenatal profile is profiling the mother mm -hmm. and how her status is. And also, so we do tests like um, blood grouping, we do syphilis testing, we do HIV testing, um, and then we do blood grouping and um, hemoglobin levels, and then we check your urine. So, and then in addition to that, the current management has now placed into um, the profile list because of the increase of um, diabetes and hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. So now we are putting into the profile um, hepatitis B testing mm -hmm. and um, we do a random blood sugar just to see if your blood glucose is okay. We've noted uh, an increase in diabetes in pregnancy. Okay. Yeah, and those are things maybe our mothers didn't have to deal with. Yeah. Um, but now we are dealing are with. Are we at risk? Like, are, are our at pregnant risk. mothers at risk? Yes. What's, a pregnant woman is at risk worst? for the, what we are calling, we call them comorbidities. So, comorbidities, mm -hmm. where we talk about hypertension, um, diabetes, any other illness that can present itself without mm -hmm. pregnancy, mm -hmm. but now when we put it in a pregnant woman, it is very enhanced. Oh. So we try and catch them early so that we can manage them. Okay. So what kind of things should I be careful about? What kind of questions would you advise mm. women to ask? Sometimes you may find a nurse who has info, but feels if I say all these things, I might overwhelm mm. the mom. So what kind of questions would you advise moms who have just started clinic to ask at this appointment? Yeah, so I think, um, let me start with the first clinic. The first clinic, ensure you ask about nutrition. Okay. So what should I eat? Mm -hmm. um, because there are a lot of questions and a lot of myths and a lot mm -hmm. of misconceptions mm -hmm. about I should not eat certain foods mm -hmm. because they will make my baby big, or mm -hmm. I should eat less of eggs because they will make yeah. my yeah. And pineapples that yes, you know, yes. You something scary. You may, yeah, there yeah. are a lot of things out there. Okay. So what I advise women is ask about nutrition because okay. um, ask about nutrition, ask about danger signs. The most serious sign, danger sign is really, um, and that one goes throughout all the three trimesters. So if you're bleeding on your first trimester, rush to your nearest hospital. And bleeding can be as little as spotting. So you might see a drop of blood or a spot of blood in your country or your line. So ensure to visit the hospital so that then they will do investigations and see, examine you and see whether all is well. Um, another sign that you probably note after you feel, you start feeling the daily movement yeah. from your second trimester onwards is reduced fetal, what we call reduced fetal movement. So the baby in nature is called a fetus. So um, reduced fetal movement means that the number of kicks you can, you, during the day or during the night, you understand how many kicks your baby does. Mm. So if the baby has reduced the number of kicks, then come into hospital and say, I've not been feeling my baby move for a certain period of time. Usually say, if, um, at least 10 kicks, um, you should hear baby being active for 10 times during the day. Oh. So if they are not, if you're feeling like they've come to five or they're cold for about 12 hours, you've not felt anything, mm -hmm. then come in. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be able to see what's happening with you. 
in the first trimester, if you are um, vomiting excessively, so vomiting, maybe you might feel certain times during the day. Yeah. Um, some women also experience vomiting maybe at night because some people morning sickness is limited to, to morning. morning. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, it's not limited to morning, it can be any time. Some women also experience morning sickness the whole day. Yeah. But when it comes to vomiting, when you vomit to an extent you cannot put, keep down anything, then please come to the hospital, because then we will try and control the vomiting. I think those are the three major ones yeah. that I would want to talk about. And then any time you experience lower abdominal pain, so your lower abdomen is the place be below your belly button. Mm. So if you're experiencing any type of pain there, like cramping um, or some fault, so, or any discomfort down there, yeah. just come in so that we check. We check maybe you might be having a urinary infection mm -hmm. or maybe um, those are contractions. Mm -hmm. So and you don't want to have that with when the baby is still not ready to come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So as we finish Kate works for Jacaranda Health, yes. so maybe you could tell us a little bit about Jacaranda Health and you know, I know they've achieved a certain level of <laughs> they call it operations. Okay. Yeah, which, quality. Quality. <laughs> so you could just tell us about Jacaranda Health as we finish. Yeah, so Jacaranda Health is a maternity hospital that's based on just off the road on Kamichi Road and we have what Joy is trying to say is that we have achieved Safe Care Level 5. Safe Care is an, uh, an, an accrediting body that comes and judges your facility in terms of how good your quality care is. And they have five levels and we have, you are the first ones in Kenya to mm -hmm. achieve Level 5. And actually the third one in the whole of Africa. Wow. Um, we, but even in, when you look at the whole of Africa, we actually have the highest scoring percentage. So with a 97% scoring on quality, I think we would term ourselves as the leading people in maternal and newborn child care. Yes. yes. And she's the hospital manager. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions about prenatal care or any questions for Kate, mm -hmm. I'll leave your yes. contact and her email address. Yes. So you guys don't need to travel so far looking for a hospital. You guys on Thika Road you have a place to come. Yeah. So thank you guys. As always, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. But until the next video, bye-bye.